Hi, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, I'm going to be cleaning up all the metalwork on the front of the bus and the inside, um, treating it for rust and then epoxy priming it. Um, I've already cleaned up the front of the bus uh, off camera, so now I want to crack on with the inside. Next job on the list of things to do is to clean up the centre section of the floor, uh, ready for paint. Before I can start rust treating this, I've got to remove a broken uh, bolt that's uh, in here. I think it was episode one or two where I was taking the throttle linkage off and one of the bolts sheared off. So I need to get that out first before I go any further. The last thing I need to do before I can start painting is to rush treat it all.
Right, the stuff I'm actually using for this, I might have said earlier that it was um, a, a rust preventative. It's not, I don't think it's a rust preventative. It's a, it cures rust. It, through some kind of magic, converts it into this bluey purple stuff. Um, and I've used it in the past and it, it seems to work, you know, and it takes paint afterwards really nicely. Um, so, I mean, I, I'm just, I know I've cleaned it all up as, as well as I can possibly do it, but if there is the odd spot of rust still up in there somewhere, um, this stuff should convert it into something that isn't going to rust any further. I need to mask off all the areas that I don't want any overspray on and also give it a good clean up, get rid of any dust and dirt etc. some bits where it was a bit rough and stuff but <clears throat> I'm, I'm not going to, I'm, I'm going to leave it on um, it, it, it'll be fine on the inside obviously on the outside I'll remove it all before I paint it side of the front um, deformation panel and do the rest of these new panels as well. of uh, epoxy uh, primer 
on. And the product I'm using is this, and it's from Rust Busters, and it's a custom epoxy 421 anti corrosive primer for steel and aluminium. And it comes in two parts compound A and compound B with some thinners, and you mix it four to one. Um, I've used it before, and the reason why I like this and I use it is it's because it's it's a non iso paint, so it's got it's there's no isocyanites in it, which means that you know it's a lot safer, a lot better for your health, etc. And it's really good stuff. Um, you know, you can put um, body filler over the top of it quite safely. Um, it's impermeable to water or moisture, so once it's on there, it, you know, the metal underneath is not going to rust again. So, really good stuff. So, um, I'll get that mixed up. Um, by the way, I mean, I, I'm, I've got no affiliation with this company at all. I just like the product and I've used it before and, I, you know, and I'm, I'm happy with it. Uh, the gun I'm using is a cheap and cheerful 25 quid internet jobby. Um, I've got a water trap filter on the bottom of it, I've got another water trap over there and I've got two more between that and the compressor which is outside and I usually run it at about two bar. Um, so let's get started. Now that I've got the front of the bus and the inside all cleaned up and primed, I need to take a look at 
the rear bulkhead and do some repairs around here so that I can put the um, wheel tubs on and then the wheel arches and once I've done that I can then install the two um, floor repair sections and then I can put the front panel on. I'm going to start by uh, cutting out the outer skin of the B post and replacing it with a new section. two repair sections which are going to go in there and in there like that um, and I can then weld the B post repair section to them so I'll get these welded in first Next to weld on is this repair panel, the B post repair panel. And I've cut a section out of the edge there so it sits onto there nicely and then I'll weld it from the inside. So it sits in there. properly. I want to try and fit the front wing and make sure that that's going to line up with this contour because I know there's quite a bit of body filler in here and I obviously I don't want to line this up to the body filler, I want to line it up to the original panel. Um, so yeah, let's, let's, let's do that next. Well as you can see I've got everything roughly in place and I'm happy with the way it's fitting. Obviously it's going to need a lot more adjusting and tweaking etc. But I'm sure I can get it all to fit really nicely. Obviously when I come to fit it in the finally I'll have the door in place as well. Um, but until then I'm happy with the general fit so I'm going to carry on and fully weld in the B post repair section and then finish off welding in the patches in the rear bulkhead.
Okay, what I'm doing now is I'm trying to make a repair section for the rear bulkhead. Um, um, and I've got to put like a concave dish in it to match what's there. And I, what I'm, I mean, I don't know whether this is going to work, but I've made a sort of a wooden um, uh, former and uh, I've screwed the plate down onto it and I'm going to start bashing this centerpiece out and see whether I can get, you know, um, the concave section in this. So let's give it a go, let's see if it'll work. job in the world but it's getting there and I think I'm at the stage where a little bit more tweaking and then I can weld it in and do the do the final fitting when it's actually in place. job that I thought would take an hour and a half, two at the most, to repair all of this and it's actually taken me about eight hours to, to do this um, and it's not the prettiest job in the world. It looks a bit like a patchwork quilt which I never like doing but bearing in mind that everything from that line there down is going to be under the wheel arch. Um, it's also going to be given a good coating of stone chip and wax oiled etc. So it'll never be seen um, and it's strong, you know, it's solid. Um, so all I need to do now is clean up my welds. I'm not going to go overboard on these ones because as I say they're going to be covered in in uh, under seal and wax oil etc. Um, these ones are going to, I'll pay a bit more attention to the ones above here because they're gonna, they will be seen behind the back seat and as soon as I've done that I can then start trying to fit the front wheel arch. Now that I've got all of this completed, I can start um, fitting the front wheel arch. Um, but before I can start doing that, I need to refit the front door. Ok, 
Okay, I'm going to start by trial fitting the um, wheel arch, and I'm going to just hold it hold it in place with a, with a couple of self-tapping screws to start with. I've already drilled a couple of holes for the self-tapping screws, so. of the um, wheel arch to the bottom of the A post to hold it in place. So now I'm going to try and fit the wheel arch or wheel toe. This doesn't want to sit back, so I've got a gap around the front here, around this lip. I'm going to have to reshape this lip here, so this lip has got to come higher up, about, about a centimetre higher up, around there. Right, what I've had to do is, ex is extend this lip by about a centimetre um, so that it can sit more down. I mean, I suspect it's the wheel arch and the work that I've done to the bottom of the A-frame, A-post, that's causing the issue. Because this, this is my original Volt VW part, whereas the wheel arch and the A post repair section is aftermarket. But let's give it a, let's give it a try, see how it fits. much better, much closer. I put another self-tapping screw in here. After about half an hour or so of tweaking, I've got it to fit nicely. It's not perfect, but for a dry run, I think it's okay. All the gaps are nice. It's reasonably flush. So I think I'm going to leave it there until I'm ready to weld it in fully. But I'm not going to do that until I've got the other side sorted. Next job now is to sort this area out. It's nowhere near as bad as the other side, but I need to replace this section here, which has got a hole in it, and someone has very crudely welded in a big nut here. Presumably it must have been something to do with safety belts. So I'm going to cut all of this out and this, replace it with new and also tidy this area up as well. Then I can fit this uh, seat tub um, and this wheel arch on the floor. Um, I think I'm also going to fill this hole in as well. I don't know what it's for. I don't know why it's been put there. But it looks a bit messy. 
So I might see, if I have time, I might see whether I can make a patch to fill that. to do something with that um, but other than that I'm happy that everything is roughly in the right place the door fits nicely I've got nice gaps so um, that's going to be it for this episode uh, in the next one I'm going to start welding all of these panels in place and then hopefully start on the front so until then thanks for watching um, please like or comment and I'll see you on the next one